Hi, I'm Coach Landry, and the topic is the power of saying no. Like many people, um, they do things and they were people pleasers and uh, you want to make people you care about happy, but sometimes you really need to just tell someone to shut the hell up or you need to put them in their place to where they understand the new expectation. Now, I, the way I said that might make you feel that's the way you need to say it. Well, it depends on the partner you got. I am a blunt and honest person, and I speak with candor. Some people uh, like to take more time to, to uh, find a more massageable approach. But the fundamentals are the same for whoever's talking about it. So that said, you know, the response we get from others when we have managed to say no can leave us feeling guilty or selfish. Um, and it's good that you need to exercise so that you don't have that feeling when you tell people no. And we don't need to generally you know, upset others and it can seem easier in the short term to bend to their will. Um, but if you're anything like me, uh, it's not something you want to do. Um, I'm the type that I'm a very alpha style person. I have a very strong personality. Um, it's part of the reason why I do what I do. And because of that, these are things that will put you in a position to just, just hold yourself to, to a standard in which people know what to expect out of you. You got to remember your feelings are your truth but you can say them respectively, or your feelings can be your truth and you can say them in a, in a fashion that's emotional or connecting. You know, it depends on the compatibility of the couple, but either way, there's power in saying no at the end of the day. I'm gonna go through five reasons why saying no more often actually will help your life. Okay, number one, reduction of stress. Trying to please everyone comes at a cost. You will most probably have, most of you have probably heard the terms people pleasing. There's no doubt that being concerned about other people's feelings is a very important part of human nature, but there's a cost to your health and well-being that takes its toll when you don't put yourself first sometimes too. Remember, it's not selfish to put yourself first. It's a human natural DNA trait to put yourself first because you cannot take care of others until you've taken care of yourself. So number one, like I said, there's a reduction of stress by saying no. Find things that you're not comfortable with that drain your energy and say no. Not to mention, if you're a first-time dater, second-time dater, or you're in the first six months to a year of your relationship, you want to set these up correctly so that the relationship is built off your personality on your side of the fence going forward and not set on a, um, a that you're a people pleaser if you're not. Some people are people pleasers, and that's okay. But if you are not, you certainly don't want to be coming off as one and selling the wrong picture of yourself. Number two, you'll feel less resentful. In a perfect world, the majority of people value social harmony. They avoid conflict. They try to attain acceptance from others. They can be exhausting and unachievable, though. And even if you say yes to everyone, you still won't be fully satisfied, uh, and they're still going to find that they, they need more out of you. So that's why you want to learn to say no and set this expectation that you can't do this your whole life. Their demands will grow and grow, and if you're comfortable with doing it, well, then you don't need to worry about saying no. We're only talking about areas where you actually need to say no. Also, it, like I said, if you're a first or second time dater, you want to say no because this may make the person find out you're not a fit for them in certain areas. They may be needing people that say yes in certain areas and you're not. So learn to say no um, in order to also find your compatibility with people. Number three, you'll sleep better. If you take control of your stresses and your demands placed on you, then you'll be able to believe in your ability to achieve the task. It's simple. The clearer your mind, the more great night's sleep you'll have. Scientifically proven, control the demands you you self-imposed and you'll balance the inner harmony in yourself, okay? Don't bullshit yourself and think that if I give everybody everything, everybody's going to love me. That's a falsehood. That's seen in movies. People pleasers in the end, it's not about giving everybody what you want. It's giving them what you want because you actually like doing that. If you like doing something, you don't think twice about it. We're talking about the items that you think twice about. Number four, you'll feel more confident it's okay to say no because it will also breed respect in the long term and improve your confidence in yourself. Others will begin to realize your limits and, and what you're able to and prepared to do. You'll get much more out of helping someone else if you genuinely want to help, and this will make you feel better. And don't forget, every time you say no to others, you're actually saying yes to yourself. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. Every time you say no to others, you're saying yes to yourself. The control is yours. Own it. Make the decisions consciously, know what you are prepared to do, and re remain solid and honor your boundaries. Number five, more time to attend to your needs when you say no. Before you can help anyone else, you must attend to your own needs. How can you do this if all your time and energy has been given to others? 
Balance in life is fundamental to quality of life. You want to make time for what makes you happy and enjoy your life. Be strict with yourself. Life shouldn't be disproportionately, you know, to the point where you're weighed to one aspect alone. You must monitor and maintain equilibrium if you were to ever achieve peace and contentment in your life to protect your energy. Okay, keyword, protect your energy. And be mindful that saying no can invoke disappointment and anger in others. But like I said, this can lead to you knowing whether you're compatible with someone or not. But if you do it, in the right way and remain solid, you'll quickly inst instill a more reasonable expectation from others. The power is yours and only you can give it away. It's precious. You need to hold on to it and you need to nurture it. And understand that these things can lead to compatibility with others and lead to lack of compatibility with others. But that's what you want. This is how you get, you get through the formalities of relationships, you get through the bullshit, and you get the real, what's really going on inside you and the other person to the surface and get things worked out. Stop wasting your human cycles in your life, spending time with people and getting nowhere. Progress and communication is essential and saying no and having power with it is a big deal. So if you'd like to book a personal session, contact me via the email below. And if you found this information helpful, show your appreciation by clicking on the PayPal donation link and I will talk to you soon.